remove the die by unlocking the screw. Remove the die, undo the two screws to remove the nose assembly. Fit service tool, inch riveter forward to expose main screw, 5mm allen key, unlock and remove screw. Press retract. and the whole assembly slides out. To replace the punch, inch it forward slowly. On the opposite side there's a grub screw. Remove the grub screw. To remove the punch. Fitting is in reverse. Make sure it's tight, press retract, to service rivet catches and guide bush assembly we undo the two screws, just release them, don't remove them because they tend to get lost, with the pin punch we push the pins out. Pins are out, remove. So with a, with a clean rag you just wipe out any rubbish, dirt, debris and you're just checking for burrs, make sure there's no burrs anywhere on it because it is a precision tool and it needs to operate correctly. The rivet catches are what feed the rivets. One should overlap the other. If they're not overlapping they're worn out and you should replace them. So just remove those. Again give it a clean with a rag. Make sure there's no burrs or any damage before reassembling. To reassemble uh, we use a multi-purpose grease. Hang on. Hang on. What we'll do. The rivet catches are what feeds the rivet. One rivet catcher should overlap the other. If there's a gap between them, they should be replaced. To remove, you just slide them out. Guide bush, you just clean it with a rag. Ensure there's no burrs through here, anywhere in here, and make sure it's in good condition. To reassemble, use the multi-purpose grease supplied. Grease inside guide bush. Either side of where the root catches sit. River catchers have a tab 
and they fit in this, these holes. So there's a left and a right, so you'll soon know if you've got it right or wrong. Obviously that's incorrect. So we rotate it. One there. One there. Place grease on that lobe, like so. Rotate guide bush downwards. Long slot of the guide bush faces away from you. And it goes down and in. Line it up best you can so that's flush with the back. Then you, you pin punch to align it. Slide it back slightly. Your two pivot pins. There's a round edge and a, and a flat edge. Put the round edge in first. Can you pause that? Because I've got to get a hammer. Fit the pivot pin slightly in with the pin punch as a guide. Gently tap the pin back into the guide bush just so it sits flush. Rotate it, remove the pin punch and again round edge in. That one just slides in. Tap it gently So it's flush. Then we grab our Allen key and we tighten the grub screws. One, two. Make sure it rocks, which it does. Smear of grease on the outside of the guide bush. We have a cup stop and an indexing spring. There is two cup stops. There is another one up inside sitting that way. Again, we give the spring a good clean, making sure there's no damage, it's not bent, and that tab is in place. Same with the cup stop. Clean it off, make sure there's no burrs. This is a push rod. We clean it off, we make sure there's no burrs, it's not bent. The hole is in good condition. This locates on the tab when we're reassembling. That must stay on that tab. So what we'll do, we'll fit all this back up now. Again, grab your tube of grease. Grease the spring. Plenty of grease on the cup stop. Start pump. We'll inch it forward. There's a slot on one side. This is where the push rod slides in. So what we need to do, grab our spring with the tab downwards. Slide it up so the tab lines up with that slot. Grab our Allen, uh, push rod very gently slide it up. Grab our cup stop with all the grease on it. Again, slide it up. 
Grab the Allen key. Make sure your cup stop's pushed all the way up. The, gr the extra grease on the cup stop is to hold it in place, otherwise it will keep on sliding down. We grab our guide bush. In there, there's a recess where the, guide, uh, where the push rod sits. This must locate, so we slide it up very carefully. Just twist it a little. So it's sitting in the slot. We fit our service tool and move it forward until we expose the screw hole. The grip air. We grab our, our screw and we fit it back up. Just firm. Don't over tighten these because they do round off. They have a, a, a dab of blue Loctite on, stop them com from coming loose. If it is uh, damaged or the Loctite's come off, just replace it, just put a new screw in it. Then we press the retract button so it all returns. Remove our service tool, and then we're going to have a look at our nose assembly. The nose assembly is made up of three parts. The nose insert, the nose adapter, and a head stop. To remove the nose insert from the nose adapter, we loosen the screw 